My name is Greg Metcalf. I'm a DC area artist that the Phillips Collection has asked to talk about the influence of African art on my artwork. The significant encounter I had with African art was actually at a dinner party 12 years ago. A friend brought in an Enkizi from Congo, and it wasn't finished and polished up the way you normally see Enkizi and other objects in museums. It was really beaten up, and you could see the work that it had gone through in its life, how people had used it. And normally when we talk about the influence of African art on modern art, it's the visual style, the abstraction, the pattern, the design that the artists focused on, and they ignored the meaning of the artwork. But what that did is it got me very focused on the function of this artwork, the way people use it and handle it and alter it as they're going along as a work of art. So I decided to try to make a similar ritual sculpture for United States values and our culture. Now, the Enkizi looks a lot like a voodoo doll, at least to American audiences, and it actually functions in the opposite way. The metal that you drive into an Enkizi figure is done to release the power of the figure as you ask for its assistance. What I did is I went to a figure that I would like the assistance of as I was making my first Enkizi, and that was a culture figure uh, Joseph Cornell, the artist, I thought it would be nice to have him pulling for me from the other side of the veil. So that is why this became my first Enkizi. Now after that, I continued to make other sorts of Enkizi and other ritual art, basically trying to translate different elements of it to the United States culture and the symbols that we end up using in our rituals. Another African figure from the Fawn people, or actually this is my version of it, but it's a boccio figure that the Fawn use. And it's sort of an amulet who intercedes for you if you have troubles. What you do is it's got a couple holes in it and you pull out the peg in the hole and then you whisper whatever your fears are into the hole and then you can plug it back up. And depending upon how you want to interpret it, the figure goes to work on your behalf, or just you've left your fears behind you and you can get on with your life. It's sort of a portable personal therapist in a way, at least in US culture. Now this specific figure is of the artist Man Ray. And it was made for an art historian who was writing a dissertation about Man Ray. So Man Ray was causing her a lot of problems and creating anxiety for her. So it seemed to make sense that she should have a Man Ray figure to give all her problems back to.